today I'm gonna squeeze in kind of like a hodgepodge of different things into this video. I've got an update uh, from the last video that I posted, the Chris Watts video. Investigators wanted to know more information about the case and after this time had passed they decided uh, to get with him. He actually gave them more information. I also learned a new editing trick and I just I, I can't wait to share it with you. And we're gonna look at a couple of new spy cameras today. On top of all that, Amy starts her week of assignments tonight, so we are very shortly gonna get on the road headed to Dothan, Alabama. So, like I said, today we are going to do several different things, but first I'm going to start off with the spy cameras. I left them in the house, so I got to run and grab them right quick. I'm just kidding, guys. You remember when we first started this video and I said I learned a new special effect? That was pretty awesome, wasn't it? I've been working on that editing effect for a little while now. That's uh, it's just, just really cool to me. And that's how you see in the movies, when that happens, they do the same exact thing I just did. So uh, really today, we're gonna do the spy cameras last. I just used that to have to run across the street back there. I wanna talk about Chris Watts, the video I posted yesterday, and I wanna get that done first. I made that video because I knew that a story was going to be released. I knew that Chris had spoke to investigators and he had given them more to the story. That's why I chose to release this particular video at that time because I knew that there would be a, a mainstream media story about him being released. Little did I know the details that he would share were completely unfathomable. I mean, they were, it, it, it was worse than I even expected. He actually, he confessed to his wife that he was having an affair. They got into a big argument. He told her he was having an affair. He wanted a divorce. She said, you will never see the kids again. Chris lost it. He strangled her right there in his house, but he did not smother his girls there. All right, so he went and got a sheet off the bed. He started wrapping her up when, it, when their oldest daughter, Bella, came into the room. She said, Daddy, what are you doing with Mommy? Chris says that he told her, Mommy's sick. We gotta take her to the hospital, all right? He puts her body in the truck first. Then he loads up both of the two girls. He makes the 45 minute trek out to his job in a Darko Petroleum's oil site. When he gets there, he digs a hole, he buries Shanann. Then he goes to the truck. He gets Cece, the youngest. He takes her favorite blanket and he smothers her with it. He takes her and then puts her down into the oil tank. He goes back to the truck after Bella at which time this four-year-old little girl says, Daddy, please don't do to me what you just did to Cece and what you did to Mommy. Basically, she's saying, Daddy, please don't kill me. She fought him. Ultimately, you know, he's a 30-something-year-old man. She's a four-year-old child. He was able to overpower her, and he was able to smother her to death, and that's why she had the defensive wounds that they found on her. It is remarkably horrifying to know that this man could do that to his own children. I mean, they were his kids for goodness sake. How could you do that to your own flesh and blood? He says that he wanted to share this information because he has found faith in Jesus Christ and it compelled him to tell the story. That's all I wanted to say about uh, Chris Watts. I just wanted to throw that little update in there. We're gonna move on to a different topic, but first I'm headed to Dothan, Alabama.
Now that I have gotten into my hotel room, I'm gonna talk about the spy cameras we are going to review today. So I am going to take the cameras that we're gonna to review today, I'm gonna to take them, we're gonna go do a little bit of shopping. But the good thing about it is I won't have to hold on to them because these are cameras that I wear, like this one. Uh, it doesn't really go well with this shirt though. That looks better. I am going to combine the necktie spy camera. I forgot what I did with it. I'm gonna combine the necktie spy camera with this. It is a belt camera. If you look, by the way, if you can't tell, I am uh, I'm shooting into a mirror right now. I, I thought it was a pretty cool picture. But, uh, so, if you look right there in the center of the belt buckle, you can see the camera lens. We're going to wear the belt and the tie and these, and these are going to be the, uh, spy cameras in today's spy camera review be uh before we go test them though i just real quick want to show you what they're all about this is the necktie camera and if you look right here above my finger you can see the hole there in the necktie that is the camera lens really the cool part about the necktie other than it's a freaking camera in a necktie. I mean, that's just awesome. But you don't have to be out in public looking all funny, mashing buttons and everything because it comes with its own remote control. The belt is just a plain leather belt, but it has a metal buckle. I already showed you right there in the center of it is the camera lens. It does not come with a remote, but right here on the top side of the buckle, this is where your control panel, your buttons to activate the camera, charging port, and all the way over here on the right is your SD card slot. That's all there is to the belt and the necktie. Now I'm gonna put them on and we're gonna go try them out just to see how they do. Exactly the same thing I was thinking. I'm back from testing them out. I have to say, I am very impressed with both cameras. I think they both had really good video and really good audio. I'm I'm thoroughly impressed. Eventually, these will wind up in a giveaway. Not tonight. We already have a giveaway going, which, by the way, is coming to an end. You only have a few days left to enter into that contest. 
I will link it in the description below. If you have not entered, make sure you go enter. I will also link both of these cameras below because I'm not giving them away right now. We'll do that down the road. If you would like to go purchase one of them, you're more than welcome to do so. They're great cameras if you're looking for something like that. I think I've gotten everything out of the way. I did the Chris Watts update. I showed you getting me getting hit by the car. And we did the spy cameras. So I think we're good. I'm going to end this one now. I want to thank you all for watching. And I'll see you again tomorrow. We're back out on the road. So who knows what we'll be doing. Thank you all. And I hope you stay warm.